What's up, what's up guys? What's up YouTube? What's up Sierra Leone? What's up whatever you're watching me from bro? Bro As if few days ago that was a Sunday, right? Came out at an interview, okay? With Inter Salon Media Where he made his own points clear, but I'm about to give my own take on this, okay? Concerning money business in a salon, salon artists the money and the music industry as a whole, like people are not supporting it and you get me so by the way before i get into that i created a youtube channel to do a, a global breakdown on other west african artists or any other nationality artist so guys i'll leave the link in the comment section go and subscribe if you're a fan of other artists and you want me to to react to their stuff go and subscribe to the channel you get me but i don't get into that too much let's go guys let's go you know so if you say salon people need the support for music i don't think that's not the truth you know like i say it's all about how you apply yourself and what you what you do even if you get the money but anybody chases music not even salon music I want to dispute that fact there. There's a lot, a lot of money in salon music, to be honest with you. It depends how you able to handle them and how you focus enough to do what you want to do. You know, the Okay. Okay, make I just touch on that particular side when they said people are not supporting salon music, right? And they said that is a lie. And also, he stated money not upon salon music and he said it's not true. It's all about how you focus yourself and how you're able to do it. But let me say this plainly. This is not me trying to challenge you, but brother man. When you talk in terms of money, 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 you you clearly stated is that the money that is in Sierra Leone music, you can compare it to a Nigerian artist or other country artists, right? Then what is the money? We all get the simple sense that there is money, right? For money, money, there is money. But when Forbes are comparing richest artists in West Africa that we belong, you guys are artists too. You expect it to be on the list. We have segments of this list. We have categories. Let's say if we're doing a, 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 a list of richest artists in Sierra Leone, Okay, but for the fact that you are a West African artist, nah, bro, you should, this, this should not be in your mind to even say we are not even rich as compared to these people. But that is the goal. That is the target. If you are not rich compared to them, then that means there is no way you guys will ever be on the top list as richest artists in West Africa or even in Africa. If you guys are not making money up to that tax, then I'm sure you guys are broke. You guys are broke. If you, they can't compare you to those people, you guys are broke. If you guys are not making money compared to those people with music, which are the leaders, you guys are broke. That is obvious. Let's listen to the end and then I'll tell you what I mean by that. Let's go. We might not get money like how Nigerian people and they make money. Now these people they understand. It's just like when you do business. You don't need to forget $1 million for start a business, right? If you, you can start a business with $1,000. Yeah, you, you can even start a business with $1,000. It depends how serious you day, how determined you day for let your business grow. So for let somebody tell me, say, music, money, not the salon music, adapt that big time. Because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of money for salon music. It depends how you apply yourself. Somebody will take that credit from you. You know, one person you don't see in the industry, you know. Yeah. And you don't, you don't go through a lot. Today, you say, say, don't talk and say, I'm the lie. And you say, say, the building where I don't see, man, I don't say, okay, man, maybe if you don't get the whole salon money, but something day. <laughs> people complain now, you know, lately about music business and salon, you know, the industry draw, 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 draw. Please, they say, oh, they know they support we, they know they this, they know they that. Are you still getting the required support as K man we start music as, as alone earlier? Um it might be ridiculous for us to say this now, yeah. But I promise you, yeah. I know everything started make money from music. 
before than now. Now, now they make more money than music. At times, it, it sounds, I don't know, it sounds odd than other people it is. Even to me, I can't believe that, Very. to be honest with you. Like I say, it's about your image. It's about how you portray yourself, how you don't package yourself before. Honestly, now for me, I don't know for other person, me, they make more money than salon music than ever, on a more serious note. Okay, well, I'm lost. I'm lost as hell. Okay, man. One thing, let me say this fact, right? It's good sometimes when you get to that particular peak where everybody will be like, no doubt this brother have made it. No doubt this brother have made it. And when you get to a, a time for you to come and testify, we all know how you feel. You feel big. You feel you have arrived. And you, you, are, you are the best person to come and declare something to the people, right? I get that kind of position. I know that's that's the position you're in when you, you mention stuff. But let me just make this clearly. You boldly said salon music get money, but you can't compare that to a Nigerian and Ghanaian. That's a Nigerian. If you can compare it to Nigerian, I believe Ghanaian too, you can compare it to, right? So for me, in my own opinion, I feel like if you guys can do this continental comparison in terms of money, then it means you guys are broke. You guys have money only for a civil union level. You get me? Because there is no civil union in their common sense who will be thinking, Cardinal has a, the, 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 the continent's recognition somewhere right now. You get me? And I want to do comparison. My mind will not be only again in Sierra Leone. Okay? The comparison of my mind will be where? The continent. So if you are one of the richest, if not the richest, but one of the richest, because I don't know everybody as an uh, accountant in Sierra Leone as a musician, right? One of the richest, you're saying it might not be compared to these people, then... Who, who do you guys want us to compare you guys to? This is 21st century. If we can do this comparison, we can do comparison between you and uh, uh, other African artists when it comes to music. We can do comparison between you and other African artists when it comes to money. Then who do you guys want us to compare you people with? Then where is the money then? Where is the money? You guys are making me confused. Like how do you guys want us to compare you people? When you think about mansion, how many years in the game some of you guys have been, right? We should compare you to all the artists. When Forbes are comparing richest artists in West Africa, they don't say, okay, all the sorts of people in Nigeria, they're supposed to be on the list. They do it continentally. Like when they say richest artists in Africa, they do it everywhere in Africa. They make sure they check your assets and what you guys do have. Like you have some sense when you said, ah, uh, it depends on how you you try to your focus, right? When you you say there is no money in, in salon music, your focus. But let me say this play, uh, plainly: you made a, a, a option of thousand dollars or hundred thousand dollars or whatever when you have you save. This is not people who are trying to save. These people who are making money of uh, of music, right? When you talks about when you talk about albums. How many have they sold? Like, within how many days? Within how many months? How many million copies? Like, back your time, when it comes to music, I'm shocked when you said you're making more money now than then because I don't, you, you are not trending now. So are you making money from royalties of your old, old songs on YouTube? Because right now I see that you have a whole lot of copyright thing that you're doing, okay, on YouTube. So are you making more money now than then? Because then I feel like you guys have royalties with this cassette sellers situation, right? When you guys release song, they make sure they sell it. And those times we used to hear that, okay, man, this particular album sold how many copies? And it's a lot of money then. It's a whole lot of money then. You get me? So me saying, you saying now you're making more money, I don't know what time, so how are you making it? I don't know how you are making it. But to be honest with you, to be honest with you people, what I know for, so, uh, for sure that there is money. There is money, money. But if you can't compare your money that you're receiving to other African countries, then the money is just for you. There is no money then. 
We're not talking about that. Nah, I'm a YouTuber, right? Another YouTuber is doing their own stuff. If I'm saying the only way I can tell you that I have money is when I save it up. Let's say I'm saving 100,000 yuans. Uh, at the end of the year, maybe I'll have like 12 million yuans, right? A month. Maybe I'll have like 12 million yuans a year. Something like that. Okay? And think about that. Another YouTuber will make more than that a year. So should I say I'm rich as a YouTuber? Should I say that? Yes, I'm rich as a YouTuber somehow, but I can't compare myself to other people, which makes me not to be rich for YouTuber sectors, like section. You get me? So it means I'm broke. I'm broke. The niche I'm in, if they can compare me to other artists, if my name cannot get to that particular top, then I'm broke. I just have feeding money. I just have money to feel comfortable. And which I see most artists in Sierra Leone do have. It's not like the money is not coming. The money is coming. But can you compare that money to what others are making of music? No. That is a comparison. It's not salon to salon or or boat to Freetown. That is not a comparison, okay, man. So if you have made it clearly that it might not be compared to Nigeria, then you guys, you don't have money. You just have money for you guys to chill and eat. But I feel like the, the artists who do have money, though. The artists who do have money. Maybe you, you just want to be humble, but people are saying you do have money. You get me? And money is not only about assets. It's about money, money, too. Remember when... I remember in the latest interview with uh, one of the interview with Aliko Dangote, one of the richest African, okay? He, he boldly said that people used to say he has money. But the day he got to know that he has money is when he went to the bank and withdrew like $10 million, something like that, or $10,000 or $10 million, one of those two, okay? That's the time you realize that he do have money. And you know the moral lessons from that is... The assets alone is money, but it's not money, money. Because with the assets that you do have, you have money to maintain them. You need money to maintain them. If there is no money in your account, or if you just have $2,000 uh, uh, in your account, and your asset that you're leaving in is worth uh, $10 million, then bro, you're broke. You're broke. Because if you intend to leave there, to just stay there, how are you going to get money to maintain that? You get me? Unless you sell the mansion, and that's the time you get back to your track. So you see, so it's all about, I don't feel like, okay, so really your music industry, there's no money, man. There's, there's, there's no money. <laughs> Simple. There's money, but there's no money compared to, According to Kman, there's money, there's no money. That's all I have to say, man. I don't know what you guys think, but